Now, no fewer than 17 persons have been confirmed dead and 25 others injured after a gas explosion rocked the Abule Ado area near the International Trade Fair Complex, Amuo Dauphin local government area of Lagos State on Sunday. More than 50 buildings in the area were impacted by the explosion as hundreds of residents were rendered homeless. Several vehicles parked in the area were also destroyed by the explosion. Boarding pupils of Bethlehem Girls College were trapped in the wreckage of their hostels as residents and sympathizer, sympathizers pulled them out of the rubble. According to reports, the principal of the college, Reverend Sister Henrita Aloka, lost her life while attempting to rescue the pupils. The explosion occurred around 9 a.m. after a truck hit some gas cylinders in a gas processing plant. Director General of La Sema Femi Okeo Tolu said 17 bodies have been recovered, while 25 injured persons are being treated on site. The National Emergency Management Agency said it recovered 15 corpses, including a family of four, sadly. And joining us via a phone uh, interview is the Director General of um, La Sema Femi Okeo Tolu. Good afternoon, Mr. Tolu. Good afternoon. And good to have you join us with this unfortunate development. Can you give us, uh, bring us up to speed with the details as regards uh, that gas explosion that occurred yesterday? You are calling it gas explosion. We, the, the cause is yet unknown. Okay. The Mr. Governor, Mr. Babajide Olushola Sonwolu, has set up a committee to look at it holistically, what okay. causes the, the, the incident. So are you However, implying that when that's... the incident occurred yesterday, we activated our emergency response plan. All the key stakeholders that are important in emergency were on the ground. And with that, we were able to rescue 57 as they go. And uh, we sympathize with the families that love their beloved ones. We are able to recover 17 bodies. Hmm. However, operation is still ongoing and uh, we are moving from one layer to another. Mr. Governor has visited the thing and he has directed setting up a committee to look at the causes, the lesson learned, how to prevent the occurrence and how to give succor to victims of the disaster and uh, how to do a total reconstruction, rehabilitations of that area. So on that note, we, he has directed and deployed law mass staff there, the neighborhood, the security apparatus, the LASEMA and its uh, primary stakeholders are working in that area mm -hmm. so very soon we will return the area back to its normal function to right. be able to prevent any form of epidemic in that area to curtail and ensure safety of life and properties and the committee is set up is under the deputy governor and co-chair by the Honorable Commissioner of Special Duties. We have the um, Honorable Commissioner of Finance as member, Honorable Commissioner of Fiscal Planning as member, member of CDA, member of um, local government. We have the PAMSEC Minister of Health as member, and we have the Honorable Commissioner of Mineral and Energy as member. Honorable Commissioner of Environment as member. Just we, to be clear, sorry to cut police. you, sorry to cut you there. Uh, just to be clear um, that we are having the right information. Are you saying it is not setting, we don't know what the cause of explosion is, we just have an explosion, we don't know whether it is gas or we not? We don't really know the cause, but we know the secondary cause. Which but is? we have to get to the roots before we could say this is really the cause. When you say so, secondary then, cause, what do you mean by the, secondary the, when cause? When you are saying there's secondary cause, we have a pipeline on, on, on that area. We have a, an accident that occurred. We have some gases being through hmm. to that area. So these are multifactorial. 
and we have to get to the roots to really know the etiology of the uh, of the incidents. All right, thank you for that clarification there. But before we let you go, um, we also understand that uh, the school principal, can you confirm for us if uh, uh, the school principal uh, is the one uh, uh, reported in the news to be uh, dead in this incident? Yeah, we are informed concerning that. We sympathize with our, uh, with our family, but however, we appeal to the people that they should not panic. The, under the watch of Mr. Governor, all the first responders are on the ground. All right, as an emergency agency, how can we put this kind of situation in check moving forward so we don't have to find ourselves in such a like situation? That is what, that is the reason that is, uh, Mr. Governor constituted a, a committee to look at it holistically and make a, 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 a good report concerning it. All right, thank you so very much for joining us on News on the Hour.